everyone, it's Cornbread. If you're planning a trip out to the Mighty Five in Utah, I got three campsites for you that are free and they're gonna be a great base for you to see the area. In addition, I have one other free campsite near a nearby state park near Zion that is out of this world, so stay tuned. So Cupcake and I did a cargo trailer to camper conversion on our 6x10. Then we went out west for four months seeing as many national parks and monuments as possible. We stayed at some great and not so great free campsites. So I wanted to give you a few near Utah's Mighty Five so you'll have good information if you're looking for free campsites near those parks. Okay, the first location we have is at Zion. Uh, it's on the east side of the park, on the east side of the tunnel. Uh, it's called the Old Highway 89 Dispersed Camping. It's got an elevation of 5,479 feet. Uh, it's very easy to get in and out. Um, AT&T, we had four bars, so there was good coverage. Uh, the scenery was unbelievable. Uh, even there, I was able to fly our drone um, and got some really good shots of the area. We actually stayed there pretty much uh, a week, but you can um, stay there up to 14 days. It's about 30 minutes north of Kanab, and they have Kanab Laundry uh, if you need to do your clothes there. Um, there's also a bakery about 20 miles north of there called the Forscher German Bakery in Orderville. It's uh, definitely a must visit. It's out of this world. But if you're going down towards Kanab, you're going to pass the Mokwe Caves and the Sand Caves. The bonus about that location is that it's an hour south of Bryce Canyon. So we actually stayed there for uh, our Bryce visit too. That way we didn't have to break down and set up again. Um, it really wasn't that far. Uh, and it was, a, it was just nice to be able to stay there for a full week and not uh, have to move the, our locations. So the old Highway 89 dispersed camping at Mount, Mount Carmel, Utah is a great location for both Zion National Park and Bryce Canyon. Okay, for Capitol Reef, um, we went to the Capitol Reef Overflow Dispersed Camping. It was less than a mile from the Capitol Reef sign coming in from the west. Uh, they, they got plenty of parking there. We stay there for five days. You can stay there up to 14 because it's BLM as well. Uh, it's located just outside Torrey, Torrey, Utah. It's got an elevation of 6,463 feet. Um, they have a laundry room, a laundry facility in the town and they have a great little uh, Mexican restaurant called La Cueva. Uh, we ate there and I had the best chicken flat I've, I've had in a very long time. The campsite is beautiful. I was able to fly our drone there too. We got three bars from AT&T. So if you're needing to work there on the road, it is feasible. And uh, again, it's a, just a very nice location. The third spot I have for you is BLM 144 Dispersed Camping, uh, just outside Crescent Junction, Utah. It's north of Moab. Uh, we drove into Moab the first day we were there and I wanted nothing to do with it. There was just too many people. And so we drove out uh, back up toward the interstate and we stayed at this uh, BLM area. Uh, we stayed there five days. Uh, you can stay there up to 14 because it's BLM as well. Um, they have laundry in Moab you can do. because At this location, we only got two bars. They do have some nearby hiking uh, where you can go see dinosaur footprints. So it is actually a, a very cool spot. This is the only one out of the three that has uh, a vault toilet. The one in Mount Carmel doesn't have any facilities at all. Uh, the one at Capitol Reef doesn't have any facilities at all, but this one does have a vault toilet. With regard to the BLM 144 and, and Crescent Junction, I wasn't able to fly my drone there because whenever I turned it on, it identified that there was an airport nearby and they do have one between that location and Moab, so I wasn't able to fly our drone there. The bonus area is Valley of Fire State Park, just outside of Overton, Utah. There they have the Snowbird Mesa Poverty Flats Dispersed Camping. Um, they have a laundry in town if you need that. Uh, they have uh, several restaurants. Uh, we ate at a Mexican restaurant, I think it was called La Fonda, that was really good too. Um, we did, were able to fly our drone there, uh, and this one we stayed at, I think, at least five days. And again, it's a BLM, so it's up to 14 days. It's probably about 10 miles 
from the east gate of Valley of Fire State Park. Uh, it was very easy to get to. Um, and like I said, if you haven't been to Valley of Fire State Park, if you're going to Zion, do yourself a favor and just go ahead and drive over. It's, it's about an hour wet, uh, east of Las Vegas. It's gonna be worth your time. It is absolutely beautiful there. So there's your free campsites whenever you're touring Zion, Bryce Canyon, Capitol Reef, Canyonlands, and Arches. Plus, if you're going to Valley Fire, I got one for you there. We stayed at those four locations, had zero issues, and had a great time. It was a great home base for us to go and see all these areas uh, without having to break down. If you have any comments or suggestions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you'd like to subscribe and follow us on our adventures, uh, please do so. Also, with this video, this is our first one that we're posting on Fridays. This will make three videos per week that we're gonna be doing. And every Friday will be a cargo trailer based video. We have a five by eight trailer now that we're gonna be building out. We still have our six by 10 and that's the one we're keeping um, to go do our cross country travels. Uh, and we're gonna start a new one pretty soon. But uh, just stay tuned to this channel because we're gonna have a lot of information on cargo trailer builds, uh, conversions to campers uh, on both six by 10 and five by eights. We'll also have a lot of information on the equipment you'll use, including generators, power supplies, uh, security equipment, everything like that. We're going to be doing quite a few videos on those things, so stay tuned. All right, so we just finished with our four month road trip out west. Had an unbelievable time at uh, national parks and monuments all over the uh, western U.S. Now we're back in Tennessee for a little bit and we bought a 5x8 cargo trailer for Cupcake Sun. We're going to build out and we're going to document it and make sure that we are able to show you exactly what you need to do to build out your own cargo trailer. So stay tuned.